Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome to today's video. This is actually one of the last videos for 2023 that I'm going to be filming. I am filming this on Christmas Eve, so as you guys are watching this, it is actually going to be Christmas Day. So Merry Christmas if you do celebrate and just happy winter holidays in general. However, I do have an ice video coming up. We're going to ice on Christmas Day, so as you guys are viewing this, we will be at ice at Gaylord Palms. I'm so excited. And after that, I don't have any other plans. So I do believe these are going to be the last two videos of the year. So I'm really excited to be rounding out 2023. I definitely have some goals for 2024 that I hope um, that will that I hope that I can accomplish and take you guys along with me. Well, we're just going to go ahead and get started. I actually have an unboxing for Stony Clover, two unboxings, I should say, in these boxes here. They're so, literally so big, they cannot even fit into frame. I'm going to start with the larger one first because, oh, sorry, hit my camera stand. Um, that is the one that I purchased first. I believe, I hope, these are either my Halloween or my Christmas ones. They did a Halloween launch that sold out within seconds and it was so popular they brought back a pre-order. I did pre-order those pieces. I thought they said they would be coming after Halloween, Christmas time into the new year, so I'm figuring it might be one of those. But if not, then of course they dropped a Christmas launch that I did pick up a couple pieces from. And then I think the smaller one is their New Year's or end of year, they did a crystal collection. So. I do have a couple pieces um, that I'm really excited to show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in, as I said, into the larger box first. They always come in the stony metallic drawstring bags, which I always use um, as a way to store my pouches. We do have a pamphlet inside that has Mickey and Minnie. In their Christmas best that's really sweet um, and then of course the inside is the receipt but we also have some stickers or a sticker and a postcard so we have a little peppermint Mickey head and then a Mickey mini Christmas tree oh my gosh those are precious I do have a sticker book in here actually because I am an adult. <laughs> um, this is my sticker book. I will try to link it on below if I can remember the Etsy shop that I purchased it from. But the reason I'm showing you that or telling you that is because I actually have my stony stickers in here. A couple of them anyway. So this is from when they did the Barbie collection. That's just a little do not disturb doorknob tag. And then like a little shopping bag. So I definitely keep my stony stickers. Um, so I'll be excited to add those to my sticker book. A lot. I mean, this is thick. I have a lot in there. <laughs> All right. Enough of the packaging. Let's actually dig into the bag. So the first thing, this was from their fall. Okay. This was their fall drop. I have my first cozy piece. And... Oh my God, I could not be happier. So this is the crossbody in the cozy, the teddy. Um, this is actually called, oh, it doesn't say on the tag. I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Let's see if I can link it. But I did have it customized with my monogram. This is what the inside looks like. It does come with that long strap that you can attach the jump rings on either side, but I've really been enjoying really fun bag charms. So I did purchase this Teddy bag charm as well. Let's take it out. I mean, I'm currently carrying a Christmas bag, a Christmas lounge fly. I might have to carry this for the new year. Look, stop, that is precious. God, you guys. I mean, honestly, it is even more beautiful in person. I'm really, really happy with that. Oh my God, it's so cute. 
Okay, lovely. And then this is my Christmas stuff, which makes sense why we got the Christmas bag. Okay, so I'm still waiting on my Halloween. That pre-order, they, Kendall and Libby were not lying when they said that it was going to be a long wait for the pre-order. It's probably gonna come in the new year, well after Halloween. But the good thing about every holiday is it comes every year. So I can just carry that stuff next Halloween. It's no big deal. Um, I did end up going for the jumbo. And so this is the print. You can see it is a beautiful kind of minty green, a little darker than a mint with Mickey and Minnie peppermints, candy canes, Christmas trees all over. The jumbo is just my favorite style fanny pack. I feel like it is the most versatile as far as fitting all of my items in. Um, and generally with the all over prints, the Disney prints, I don't like to have anything monogrammed on it because I like the print to be the showcase. So I opted to leave this blank. I'm very happy with that. And then I picked up for the first time a clothing set. So I've kind of been eyeing them for a while. When they did the Pixar collection, they released a Buzz and Woody set that I really liked, but I ended up skipping on. And then there was, the, for Halloween, they had a purple pumpkin set. Again, I really just, it took a lot of restraint. Um, but this one just really spoke to me. I have a lot of Halloween apparel since Halloween is my favorite holiday. And I actually don't have a lot of Christmas apparel. So I think that that was one of the reasons I felt okay to make the jump is because I love this print, but also I am kind of building out to my Christmas apparel, um, which I don't have very much of. So these are the pants. I did get a small medium in each. It was, I think, small, medium, large, extra large. So the pant leg has these really pretty presents. The other pant leg has Disney by Stony Clover embroidered, really nice deep set pockets elastic waistband. The elastic waistband also does have a tie on the inside so you can adjust it tighter. These are really cute. Also love that they are elasticated ankles. I am 5'2", so generally pants that are any standard size or regular fit are very long on me and I have to get them altered. So this elastic on the bottom just kind of keeps the pants scrunched up a bit and not flowing down over my feet, which is great. This is really soft too. This is really, really nice sweat material. And then the top. Is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look. That is precious. Mickey and Minnie front and center surrounded by presents and snowflakes and then again you have that Disney stony clover embroidery on the bottom this is absolutely beautiful and there's no yeah small medium okay just making sure I thought it was small medium large extra large just wanted to make sure I was not seeing the wrong sizing um but absolutely absolutely stunning so happy with all of those pieces so that was my larger order from the fall and then subsequent Christmas drop. So yeah, I'm thinking the smaller one has to be the crystal collection. So we are just waiting on those Halloween pieces. That's no big deal. Here is the inside of the crystal collection. We do have my packing slip. This time it came in this really sweet kind of fair isle print. Do we have, yes we do. Here is the postcard and it says Winter Wonderland at Stony Clover Lane and I love this. All aboard the North Clover Express and it looks like the Polar Express. Beautiful. Love these. And I, as you guys can see with my sticker book, I definitely am like a little paper collector. I like these little freebies, if you will. They definitely don't have to include these, but to me that just really adds a lot to the package. So I really love this kind of stuff. All right, and then diving in 
to the smaller. I did pick up two items from this collection. Oh my gosh. You guys. They come in a duff, like a, not a duffel, sorry, a dust bag. Let's take a look. Okay, this is the handbag, I think. Yeah, this is crazy. Okay. So here is the dust bag. It's a stony clover at the bottom. It is drawstring with really pretty pink ribbons. And then inside, it is wrapped in tissue. Okay, so this is a fanny pack. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so sparkly. So this is a standard size fanny. So I can show you the sizing difference since I have a jumbo with my Christmas one. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is beautiful. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys the sizing difference. This is a jumbo, this is a standard. So as you can see, it is quite a bit more shallow, probably at least a good inch, and then short by probably two inches or so. But I mean, the crystal work on this. It's absolutely stunning. The back is a faux leather, which is really nice because most of my stony items are the um, poly, what's that called? Like the wipeable, poly something. Hmm. I don't remember the name of it. I'm blanking. I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comments below. The drawstring bag is a nice touch, though. I really feel like that's going to keep your items protected. So then this must be the pouch. They had a lot in this collection. Oh, no, not the pouch. I ended up getting the Dylan. That's right. You guys, because I have this style bag in the Mickey Mouse, Mickey and Friends collection, and I surprisingly wear it a lot. This is a small bag, but it fits so much. So I really thought I was going to get a lot of good wear out of it because I carry my Mickey one so much. I mean the shine and it's front and back on this one. The fanny pack is just on the front as well as you can see all along the sides. I mean, this thing is completely covered in crystals. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This thing is beautiful. I, I'm speechless. <laughs> um, and then the very last thing, like I said, I love a bag charm. We ordered the little K to go on the bag. I mean, look at that. Stunning. And these are just literally just a little shoulder bag. So you can see. Super small. But they're deceivingly spacious. You can fit full-size phone. I mean, I have the, my phone um, is in my bag downstairs. Um, the newest one, I think the 14. Um, wallet, like a card holder keys, chapstick. There's, you can fit a lot in this. So super happy with that. And just to show you then, since we're comparing, this is the Dylan to the crossbody. So really about the same width wise, you have a little more height um, in these corners here on the crossbody, but you can see the width. You've got a little bit more. So pretty comparable. Definitely could fit a little bit more in this bag, but all right, that is absolutely everything. Thank you guys so much for being subscribed. If you are not subscribed yet, please make sure that you are. Um, as I said, I can't believe these are my last few videos for 2023. I've got some good goals, some hopefully one more wonderful things, Disney, Universal, 
no theme park, just general life um, coming up in 2024. So if you want to stick around, like I said, and you aren't subscribed already, please make sure you are. I'd love to see you around. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas or whatever winter holiday you celebrate. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.